good, what's 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 good, y'all, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to another little lo-fi, I would consider this, this is definitely not high quality ASMR, but it's a chill vibe, and I've been really digging this rambly style ASMR, um, that's really been popularized by the ASMR outdoorsman, checked out my last video which was sick a huge shout out to him again but i've been really digging this style lately and you guys know here on my channel i like to make what i enjoy to make because the only way i'm gonna be able to continue making content for y'all is to make stuff that actually interests me and this is the kind of content that i'm into right now so we're gonna go maybe go through a little bit of a wave of these ramble videos with the occasional fast and aggressive lo-fi video if you guys are okay with that please let me know if there's like a huge like no i hate these ramble videos <laughs> they absolutely suck and if you keep making these then i'm not gonna watch your channel because i'm not interested in these videos which i understand you know that's why youtube is such a good diverse platform because if you don't like something then you can go watch something else but at the end of the day i want to make content that i enjoy but i mainly want to make content that you all enjoy too um, since the content is for y'all, but yeah, so I've been digging these Rambo videos, and I hope you guys keep digging them, but we got a pretty good, interesting topic that I wanted to talk about today, and that is still the stigma that is around ASMR, the stigma, 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 stigma. around ASMR, which I find super, 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 super interesting. Um, and it's not even just the older generations, it's the younger generations that still don't completely understand it, which I can understand, but you guys saw that I may have titled this video like, my mom doesn't like my ASMR or something like that, which isn't entirely true. She doesn't have a huge problem with ASMR. Specifically, I don't think she watches it. <laughs> I don't think she really quite understands it. But since I'm her son, she's obviously okay with it. Um, and, you know, she doesn't got like a problem with me making videos. But she doesn't like ASMR, if that makes sense. You know, like, she's not hating over here. But she doesn't like the videos, which is okay. And, um... For some reason, even in today's society, amongst the younger people, which usually are more, um, younger people are usually more accepting. <laughs> accepting, accepting of different things and, um, you know, stranger things, especially on the internet, but, you know, even amongst the younger generation, there's still a huge stigma, and I would say almost confusion and misunderstanding of exactly what ASMR is. You guys know I'm a senior in high school, so, um, and, you know, my channel's been, you know, known about in my high school for a long time now, you know, they've known about my channel for um, probably close to a year. Or probably like half a year, really. Ever since I had like 15k subscribers. And, you know, <laughs> when it first got leaked, there's a ton of people cracking jokes and stuff like that. Um, and that was mainly people that I think have heard about ASMR, but haven't really watched it and haven't really got a full understanding of it yet. Um, but now, I think more and more people are liking it, you know. I think some people that had a stigma about it, um, or thought it was weird or funny or something like that. I think some of them checked out my videos and actually checked out other cool ASMR creators and got more interested in um asmr videos specifically but for some 
reason, people think that ASMR is weird. And I think that mainly comes down to like the whispering aspect of it and the soft speaking aspect of it. You guys know I don't do a ton of like whispering, 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 whispering. Um, I usually soft speak like I'm doing right now. But I think that's one of the main reasons people don't really um, like ASMR, you know, is because of that. I think people are most... Think it's too intimate with somebody whispering or something like that. Somebody soft speaking. I think they think that's almost an intimate thing, and then it kind of weirds or makes them feel weird about ASMR. I think that's one of the things that scares people away. And I think a lot of people, more people than you think, actually like ASMR, but they're just too scared to admit it. I think most people that don't like ASMR say they they never watch ASMR. I feel like if they sat down and really gave it a chance, um, they would enjoy it more. One other thing that I've noticed as a male content creator, there's more of a stigma, I would say, for male content ASMR creators than women. Um, you know, I think women have the grip on the ASMR game for sure. There's so many amazing women creators out there, but I love seeing more male ASMR creators giving it a go. You know, I think it's always been like more of like a feminine thing, people think, which I don't even really like to call things feminine or masculine anymore. I don't think there's any point for that. I think everybody can just enjoy whatever, you know. So I hate to put like gender roles on things that don't need gender roles at all, you know, especially in today's society as we're moving, you know, along here. But I think, you know, the stigma is especially bad for male ASMR content creators. Um, I think it's like, you're a guy, why are you whispering into a microphone and making ASMR and stuff, you know, what's wrong with you? You know, I get that question a lot. What made you start making ASMR videos? Why did you start making ASMR videos? I'm like, that's a good question. I don't know, I just enjoyed ASMR. I enjoyed the community and thought it was a really good community. So I was like, let me give this a try, you know? And I ended up being relatively successful with it so far. And I just hope to continue building a platform here on YouTube and on other platforms. And continue building an awesome community. But getting back to what I was saying, I have been seeing a ton more male ASMR creators get into the platform. You know, Rafi ASMR was one of the first guys that I really watched. And then I saw Patty ASMR, and that almost inspired me to start making ASMR videos. Because when I was younger, I almost thought I couldn't um, make ASMR videos because people thought it was weird for a guy to be making ASMR videos. But now that that's gone, I would say that's almost completely gone. Um, it doesn't really matter anymore. <laughs> um, I think we'll see more and more male ASMR creators emerge which is something i'm super excited to see um and you know i've seen more and more masculine you know i hate to use those terms too but it's like more like masculine like guys you wouldn't think would be making asmr videos making asmr videos like i've seen a couple of d1 athletes making asmr videos i'm like that's super sick they're okay with making ASMR videos because it's always like you see these videos and I'll probably make one too but it's like my ASMR channel got leaked like what other type of thing on like what other type of channel gets like you know they gotta make a video it's like a coming out video <laughs> it's like a, it's literally like a coming out video I'm an ASM artist, <laughs> which I think is super, 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 super funny, but like no other platform is like, or 
genre, I guess, or niche. Niche is the correct word there. Um, no other niche on YouTube or TikTok or anything really has one where they're like, guys, my whole friend group or my work or my school or something found my channel and now it's awkward. I feel like nothing else really has that, you know, if you got a gaming channel or a gym channel or something like that, you know, you know nobody ever makes a video like, my school found my channel, you know, and I think that generally discourages a lot of good content creators from giving ASMR a try, is that they're worried about what other people will think about them for making ASMR videos. And the worst thing about it, I think a lot of people that make fun of people for making ASMR videos, deep down, enjoy ASMR <laughs> and they're probably some of the people that watch it the most but for some reason they're so worried about what other people think about them that they're worried <laughs> about somebody judging them for enjoying ASMR or something like that you know most people that would give me a hard time are the ones that secretly deep down wish that they could create content and have people generally sit there and watch it and enjoy it you know so since they don't have that since they're too scared to go ahead and just put their self out there and give it a go and you know just forget about what everybody else thinks about you um it, you know it's just like to try and make fun of somebody i feel like asmr is also kind of like 10 years ago when you told somebody you did youtube for work they're like that's a job and it's like you make money from that and now it is just like what do you do for work? Oh, you know, I make ASMR videos. What's that? You know, five years ago, if you told somebody, I make ASMR videos, nine, like 80% of people wouldn't even know what ASMR is. But I feel like, you know, ASMR has got a ton more exposure and I feel like it's just a niche and a thing that's going to keep growing. Um, as time goes on, I think more and more people are getting interested in it. And I think one reason is TikTok. I think TikTok's been huge for the ASMR community. <laughs> and I think a ton of people are getting introduced to it over there. And then coming to YouTube to watch longer form videos. Um, but I think, you know, in another five years, it's just going to keep getting more and more normalized. But like I was saying, you know, it's like nowadays you tell somebody you make ASMR videos. They're like, you make money from that? It's kind of like telling somebody you made your, your job with YouTube like 10 years ago. People just don't even understand, you know, especially the older generation. Like if I told somebody over like 40, I'm going to some more videos. Most of them would not know what that means. You know, I know I got some amazing fans that are older out there, which I appreciate. Um, you know, I love, I love people that are willing to change adapt and accept new things you know a lot of older people get set in their ways and it's either their way or the highway but you know it's whatever but like for my parents my dad and my mom neither one of them i think would ever sit down and want to watch asmr video but they're willing to understand what it is and be glad that I have had success on the platform and continue to support me in as many ways as they possibly can, which I will be forever grateful for, you know. But we've really seen a transformation in the ASMR game. I see. I feel like in the last couple of years with people just having new ideas and making new awesome content, like Come to Rest, I, he, he changed the whole lo-fi ASMR, fast and aggressive scene. I mean, he's absolutely revolutionized that. I mean, and then the ASMR outdoorsman, he, he revolutionized just these ramble videos, I feel like. You know, I've been seeing his ramble videos going absolutely crazy. And, you know, I hope I can even get, you know, a third or a fifth of the views that he gets. I mean, he's been popping off lately, man. And it's so well deserved, you know. And I love seeing people come in here and and just change the ASMR game, you know. And just come up with new, cool, interesting things. 
you know, a lot of ASMR used to just be only tapping videos. Now we got all types of stuff going on. And, you know, there's been a ton of push for like public ASMR and stuff like that, which man, you know, you guys know I've, I've, I've gone, I've tried to do a few public videos and I'll tell you what, those videos are some of the most uncomfortable and harm to film videos but i see some of these creators out here and y'all know who you are if you make these type of public asmr videos but they literally just go out there in like the middle of a story you know like i seen like you guys may be familiar with like dean asmr or something but his public videos were crazy you know like ikea and stuff like that he just go tap on like the bed frame with like five people watching him in public i'm like man hats off to you because i could never i could never i could never y'all um but i've i've tried public asmr and it's still just like i don't know <laughs> it really you shouldn't care what people think about you in public you know you but you just look so crazy just sitting there tapping on stuff so you know that's something that i've kind of transformed away from recently um you know I did a video on Target and Home Depot like a year ago or so, and I feel like if I did them again, you know, they would pop off way more than they did back then, because <laughs> I, I literally went and did those videos for like, like 3,000 views and now, <laughs> you know, it's like, if I did it again, it maybe get 15, 20,000 views, which is way better. But, you know, I did all that work for, like, 3,000 views. And it's like, 3,000 views is awesome, you know. It's, uh, I'm so grateful that I can even get that much views. But it's like, <laughs> I was out there at, like, 8.50 in the morning, you know, like, cutting class, going to tap on some stuff at a Target. And it's like, what am I doing right now? <laughs> but, yeah, I've kind of transformed away from public ASMR. And me, personally, watching ASMR, watching public ASMR, it's fun it's funny to watch it's cool to watch but i'm just like i can't really relax to it because i see the people in the background like just staring at the person like what are you doing right now so it's not very relaxing to me but more props to all the people out there doing the public asmr but yeah i feel like we've rambled for a decent amount of time today let me know what you guys think and thoughts about what i had to say today about the stigma around ASMR and the people kind of, you know, learning about ASMR and starting to adapt to it and understand it more. And what's your personal opinion opinions on ASMR? I imagine if you're watching this video right now, then you probably like ASMR and you probably don't have any stigma towards it. But, you know, some people do. And I understand it. I feel like everyone, when they first watch ASMR, they think it's kind of weird. You know, you watch it, you know, you know, you're like, what is this? I don't want to watch this. And like a week later, you see another video, click on it, and say, oh, it's kind of relaxing, but it's still weird. And, you know, a month later, I actually kind of like this. And, you know, before you know it, you listen to it every night and then got it on the background whenever you're working or anything like that. But, yeah, I love this ramble style. I think it's very cool. I think it's almost like a podcast kind of thing, but relaxing. I know I like to listen to podcasts to relax. But a lot of time the hosts are so loud that it's hard to relax to be just somebody talking. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing more of these ramble videos. If you guys got any subjects that you want to hear me talk about, definitely leave them in the comments below. And, yeah, until next time.